Hello YouTube and welcome to another review and this time it's of the Airfix World War II British Paratroopers at World 132 scale. Um, this set is representing um, British forces at Arnhem um, which you can clearly see on the artwork which is pretty good. Uh, there's a lot going on in there. So we can date this at about 1944. Um, as regards um, which part of the parachute will have to be the 1st or 2nd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment. I think 2nd Battalion was the only um, battalion to reach um, the bridges at Arnhem, which is what the mission was. So we can successfully date that at that time period. Um, I think there's 14 figures in total in this box. Um, yeah, 14 unpainted figures. Um, of varying poses, um, you get an officer, you get a sniper, you get a rifleman, you get a grenade thrower, um, you get a Bren gunner, and you get a guy marching with his Lee Enfield. Um, little bonus in the bottom here, you'll get a radio operator. Um, it does state that um, the quantities of each pose may vary. I think I've covered this before in the commando review. Um, so you may get one or two of a particular type more than what you normally would um, or what you'd normally think you should get. Um, so it's just informing you of that. Obviously you get a paint guide on here. Um, so these will be Humbrol paints. Um, and that's just giving you a good guide there as to how to paint these up. Um, I have already opened this. Uh, just the general jargon on the sides and yeah more information there and just telling you that these aren't included so that's your paints there and you get one flying hours for this kit um, nice little picture here of what these guys look like in its actual size as well so um, not bad artwork um, it's pretty good but airfix is normally pretty good with their artwork so um, I'm quite happy with that. It does look like it's a lot going on and it looks pretty frantic, as it must have been. So let's have a look at what's inside. Okay. Let's move our books to the side and let's have a look. Uh -huh. So we get a little note inside. If painting to achieve best results, first wash the figures in a mild detergent and dry thoroughly. Um, and that's just to wash any residue off um, from the moulding process. So it's quite good of them to put that in. So put that in. They do come in just an ordinary plastic bag. Um, I think the other bag for the commandos had a warning on it. This one doesn't. Um, but, you know, c'est la vie. So that's what they come in. And we'll start off with who we'll start off with who's ready. We'll start off with the chap here. Let's have a look. So this is the officer. Um, very nicely detailed. Um, quite clearly see his beret, and there is even his cap badge on there of the parachute regiment. So that's pretty nifty. Nice scarf detail on there. It's his webbing scarf hand on his binoculars. Uh, you can see he's carrying a sten and a map case here. Um, and this this box is actually quite old as well. I don't think it's as old as the um, commando box um, but it's still I was playing with these when I was a kid um, and I loved them then so um, yeah there's his sten coming through there. So I wouldn't say the stent is highly detailed, but that's enough. It does the job. Uh, water bottle. Yeah, I think that's quite good. Injector pin mark just on the top there. Um, but all in all, that's quite a good figure. That's quite a good figure. And you just see a bit of his hair there. So the face is very, very good. Uh, can you see that? Good figure. Let's see if we can just get him to the back. Yep, 
Yeah, very good. Quite happy with that. Right, and the Parachute Regiment, of course, was formed in 1940. And uh, I think its first operation was Africa. Um, and then it progressed to the European Theatre. Yeah, there we go. So this guy, he's obviously marching, so they've obviously done a parachute jump, uh, uh, probably miles from territory as parachutes normally are, and he's marching along. Um, whether or not he'd be carrying his rifle like that for very long, I don't know. Um, but that looks like a Lee Enfield. Um, detailing's good again. I uh, quite like the scrub on top of the top of the helmet, and you can even see the webbing lines, so that's very, very good. Quite happy with that. Um, not so happy with this, the bayonet has not come through very well. Um, I think some of them are actually slightly longer and some of them just non-existent. Um, so that's the only issue I'd see there. But nice detail. Quite stands out. Um, injector pin mark here, just in there. Nothing major, but nice webbing. We've got the buckles and nice boots there's his spats just on there nice creasing in the trousers nice piece just bar that there's bayonet that's that's the only problem with that i would have just left that off i was air fixed don't think they need to have it on um <clears throat> so yeah we've got another one of those i'll put him over there so Light support weapon, Bren gun. Um, so this guy's a Bren gunner. Um, same amount of detail, very good. What I will say is, I suppose the Bren, it does stand out, but it's probably a bit blocky. Um, very hard lines on it, um, but it's still a good sculpt. Um, plenty to do on that. It's a nice paint, probably paint really well. And you could probably fill it in places if you so wish. Um, just turn them around there, just slight mould line here and not so good in here but that's what you get. Uh, interesting feature here, he's got a sidearm so is he an officer or something or I don't know why he's got a sidearm but he has um, so interesting. Um, water bottle here a nice scarf, everything like that so yeah very good, very very good. Trouser pocket even in there. It's quite nice. Yeah, I mean these are good quality figures. So good quality figures. Rifleman with his Lee Enfield, so he's actually firing. Um, tell it's a Lee Enfield just with this magazine um, just sticking out here. I'll just put my hand behind there, so you might just be able to see that. Have a look around. No sidearm with this chap, but there's his bayonet holder. And once again, some nice, nice scrub on his head. Good detail. Good detail on the weapon. You know, that's enough for you to make a good job of painting. Turn them underneath, and that's that's it. You'll never see this. But that's where it goes, flattens off a bit under his arm. Um, but all in all, that's another good piece. Very good. Very good. Put him there. Um, next we have the sniper. So um, this guy here has got an Enfield, he's got telescopic sight on there. That's it. It's gone into focus now and he's wearing his beret. Um, also if you look just under his arm he's got a set of binoculars obviously just to help him find a target um, so that's a nice touch. Um, let's see if he's got a sidearm or anything. He's got a trenching tool. Interesting I don't know what that is but he's got another little pouch there. That's quite that's quite good. I've spent a little bit of time with this mould, um, so 
have been thinking about things but that's the sniper and he has his famous red berry bit of detail on his face here so I'll just show that that's quite a nice piece check to pin mark is there on this one stand very well there's no issue with them standing This is the guy. Right, this is the guy that I always remember from this set. Um, what I will say as well, not to be confused, Airfix did a 172 scale set of British paratroops. They're not the same as this set, and the quality isn't really there. I don't think even Airfix sell those sets anymore, but you may see them. They're not the greatest, and they don't really represent British paratroops for the time very accurately. So probably worth avoiding but this set is very good um, um, injector pin mark is here nice detail there you can just see his grenade nice detail good model of the Sten that's not bad not bad at all A nice bit of facial detail too can just see that scarf lovely buckles creasing in the jacket that's a good set and this is an old set but it's, it stands up definitely stands up yeah good set pouch pocket on the front And what have we got? I think that's a roundup of that. So these are what I've got with this one. So let's just take a look. So these are the poses I got with this one. So not bad. I got one, two, three riflemen. I got one officer, obviously. I got one, two, three guys marching. And I got two guys throwing a grenade. I got two snipers. Didn't get the radio guy. Haha. -ha. Yes, I did. There he is. There he is. Nice detail on him, too. It's the scarf's really good. Don't know how they get that effect, but it's really good. Um, radio's a bit basic. Um, but look, there's his sidearm too. Water bottle. Just see the badge, just on the top of the berry. Headphones on. His foot's just slightly lifted here. So I don't know why that is. <laughs> But again, check the pin marks there. Um, it's a good, it's a good little fella. Nice pose, nice pose, and it looks like he's doing it under fire. So that's that's quite good. Nice solid. So that's not bad. Quite happy with those. That's quite good quality from Airfix there. So that was the 132. World War II British Paratroopers Airfix set um, and I can easily date these 1944 because of the Arnhem bridge in the background there uh, I think that was around about September um, so we can date those troops for that I mean the equipment and the uniform looks pretty accurate to me um, I can't see any problem with that I always used to think the jackets came a bit longer um, but I don't, I'm not too sure on that um, but it's a nice set very nice set so thank you for listening and I bought this for about £7 and um, that was from Amazon so um, I think the retail around about that price um, eBay you might get them a bit cheaper so thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you soon bye